We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. The weir fishery is an ancient and ingenious method for catching juvenile herring. You would probably know juvenile herring by the name, sardines. Technically a sardine is a juvenile herring that measures 4.5 to 7 inches in length. Indians of the Passamaquoddy tribe used weirs made of brush many years ago. They built their weirs near the shore in shallow water. The weir is basically a large stationary trap that is situated to take advantage of the herring's natural movements. Herring swim in schools and are active during the night hours when it's dark. As the sun rises, herring begin to move to deeper water. They don't like light so as the sun comes up they head for deeper, darker water. Herring weirs are strategically situated to intercept them. Today, the weir fishery is essentially the same although newer technologies enable us to build larger weirs and in deeper water. We still use brush but also stakes, poles, synthetic twine and piers. A weir has two levels, the bottom portion of the weir goes from the ocean floor to roughly the low water mark. Stakes Preferably hardwood because it lasts longer than softwood are driven in the ocean floor using a pile driver. An average size weir would have about 100 stakes, each one driven separately and about 6 feet apart. In areas that the bottom is too rocky we would need to build a pier which is an L-shaped structure that has a platform that sits on bottom and upright stakes on one side. So stakes form the bottom part of the weir and then poles are nailed in place to form the top portion, from high water to low water. Stakes and poles run up and down and are attached to ribbons that encircle the weir. Once the woodwork is in place the next step is to prepare the twine. There are two suits of twine for each weir, one for the bottom and one for the top. The bottom set of twine has to be tied down by a diver. The diver ties the twine to the base of each stake, all the way around the weir. Then the fishermen tie the top part of the bottom twine to the ribbons at the low water mark.
The top twine is attached to the poles, top and bottom. Twine today is all synthetic. When I was younger, twine was made of cotton and had to be tarred each spring. The first step is tuning the wear for fish. This means constantly checking the wear and getting into a routine where sleep doesn't exactly happen during the night time. So, when you tend a weir, you go out during the middle of the night according to the tide and the moon. When tending weir, you power to the weir in an outboard and then shut the motor off and row. Herring are very sensitive to the smallest sound. The least bit of noise risks scaring the fish away. Even shifting your body weight in the skiff can spook them and ruin the catch. Rowing quietly is crucial. This is a skill that takes lots of practice to learn and some people never completely master it no matter how hard they try. So we look for fish during the night but we often do. 